Welcome to Go Mustang Sports. I am Dave McHugh, joined by field hockey head coach Laurel Martin. After the team's first uh, few games of the season, we talked in the preseason. I know you wanted to get off on a good foot. I suspect you would say you probably did with two wins to start the first weekend and three overall. Yeah, yeah, it was a great start. Um, the opening weekend at the York Invitational was a great opener for us. Um, we played strong halves in both games, not both halves, but strong <laughs> halves in both games um, to secure wins. So I was, I was pleased with that. Yeah, so you get two wins there, certainly nice momentum. Then the, then the schedule changes on you a little bit. You're supposed to go mm -hmm. to Washington College. That game was already going to probably be rescheduled time-wise due to field conditions and problems they're having there. But then instead, a couple days ahead of time, the game ends up moving to Stevenson. Was that a, any bit of a distraction with just the, the nuances of that, or was it maybe a little bit easier that it did come to, to, to the home field? Yeah, I don't think it was a distraction for the team. I think, you know, obviously home field advantage is nice to have. Yeah. Um, a little bit of a logistical challenge for the coaching staff. Sure. <laughs> trying to organize the officials and making sure that we could get the field accommodations, all of those things. But, um, you know, no, it was a good thing to be able to play on a good surface. Yeah, Washington College, not that we'll get into it, having some problems with their fields. Uh, which has affected all their teams, and so at least you guys got a good game under your belt in the sense of field conditions. Mm -hmm. Though I know as a coach, it wasn't necessarily a good game in the sense of uh, they got they shut you guys out and you come away with a tough loss. Yeah, it was a tough loss for us. Um, have to give them credit. They're athletic. Um, they have some big hitters, um, well coached. So I think that team is going to surprise some opponents. Um, on our end, we did not play up to even close to what we are able to do. So, so yeah, disappointing loss, um, but then we uh, gathered in together after that loss, um, had a true heart-to-heart -heart as far as what the expectations were and what we can actually accomplish this season, um, and, and the team responded well, so we, we did we were able to bounce back. I was going to say, with a tough game with Rowan coming up, mm -hmm. to have that tough loss, that can almost have a hangover effect, that going into the Rowan game, maybe, maybe not really buying in, or worse, not sure they can accomplish what they can against a really tough getting getting votes in the top uh, 25 d tough team in Rowan mm -hmm. and you guys get uh, not only a distracted game due to the weather but you get a really solid win in overtime against that yeah squad. no exciting exciting game and it's um you know I found that our team rises to the occasion against the tough competitors and we play our a game and certainly we had to to give Rowan the battle that we did. Mm -hmm. um, good team, um, athletic team. So I was so happy and so pleased with how we performed that game. That game had a lot of little little things about it. You had the weather delays from the previous women's right. soccer game, <laughs> yeah. two lightning delays there. You guys start an hour late, 8 o'clock at night, mm -hmm. so now it's already a late night. Then you'd throw in a lightning delay of your own. Right. Uh, the game ends late. It goes into overtime. I mean, there's yeah. just... We're dragging out what is normally a, a schedule for your team, and right. it looks like, despite all that, re responded well. Yeah, responded great. Um, and I think that's, you know, the approach is always light and airy, stay focused, stay happy, um, and um, just roll with the things that you can control, and, and that was our approach to the game. And, um, yeah, I was just pleased, like a little kid on Christmas Day with, <laughs> with that win. So it was well, 2-1 in overtime, what, 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 not a, certainly a high-scoring affair, but mm -hmm. what were the nuances? What what were the things you guys did well to not only keep that as a 1-1 game, but to ultimately get the victory? Well, I mean, it, it could have gone either way, obviously. So Rowan had their chances, and um, I think Gabby did a great job in goal for us. She came up with some really big saves. Um, and then on the other end, we have some speed on the attack. And, uh, you know, Kaylin Dempsey's going to be marked, and she was marked. But she's also able to create the assists, which was neat to see as well. And Holly had a great game with, with two goal winners. Um, and uh, we're starting to show that... It's not just the Caitlin Dempsey show. Mm. We, we've got some, you know, we've got a strong overall team, and um, that's neat to see too. I was going to say we'll talk about a lot of that as we go through the year here, but Dempsey's certainly the focus of everybody because she's already broken all kinds of records right. uh, here at Stevenson. But th it is a chance for the, those other players to then rise to the occasion because the defense is so focused on yes. some. And you point out in Rowan, it seemed you got that. Yeah, yep. I think that we're showing that we're not um, we're not a one man show. We've got a, a strong contingency of eleven field players and some subs as well. Coming up on Tuesday, you're back home against Goucher. Then followed up on that, you are yeah. back home against St. Mary's. We talked in the preseason about taking advantage of the home games. Mm -hmm. You got a, a good stretch here. What are the keys to to your first game against Goucher on Tuesday? 
Gouch is huge because um, just like I said to the team that people will forget the Washington loss if we win against Rowan. People will forget the win Rowan win <laughs> yeah. if we lose against Goucher. And so we have to climb and we have to play even better than we did um, with Rowan at Goucher. For, Lightning delay. Forgive, yeah, speaking of weather delay, we have a light that's on the fritz. So please forgive the blinking. I might have to fix that in a minute. And because of the edit, you probably can tell we already lost our light. So we'll pick up where we started yeah. talking about Goucher and and, and the importance of that game. and right. How do you get the team almost refocused? I mean, you had the game with Washington where it was not a good win. you got to get them focused for Rowan. Now mm -hmm. you get a huge win with Rowan, and mm -hmm. you know you don't want to rest on your laurels, so you you know, fall flat against Gouger. Right. How, does, how does that coaching technique work? Um, it's, it's a mental game at this point stage. Um, our team understands that in order for us to reach our goals, we have to play every single game at the A level. Um, and we're not, we're not good enough yet to play, um, play down and still secure wins. We have to play hard every game. They know that. Um, so that's the approach going in. And then Saturday you face off against former CAC opponent uh, St. Mary's again at mm -hmm. home as well. Mm -hmm. Nice bit of a break there between a, a Tuesday and a Saturday game. But at this point, it's all about keeping the momentum going, too, yeah. I assume. Yeah, momentum is huge. We've got to come out. We've got to play really well against Goucher, and we've got to secure a win, and we have to carry that into um, into St. Mary's. We have a little bit of a break with practice, so that will be sure. beneficial for us as well. And hopefully the weather cooperates yeah. for you in, in all Weather's, facets. Weather's and, though nice. it's cooler, so that's <laughs> certainly nicer. Um, before we let you go, you kind of hinted at what you've been talking to the team. What is the overall message for this week? Uh, for our team? Yeah. Uh, it's focus. It is, it's mental focus. It's the fact that we know what we can do. Can we continue to do it elevated at that level and learn and grow every single game? Very good. Well, congratulations on the three-on-one start. You. I know that's exactly, you know, maybe exactly what you drew up when you four put the schedule. Four no would have been better. Four no exactly. <laughs> I didn't want to assume four yeah, no. But, but we'll see. We'll three, go with it. <laughs> exactly. So three-on-one start with a big win over mm -hmm. Rowan here at Mustang Stadium. Again, team back in action on Tuesday against Goucher and St. Mary's that following Saturday. Those two games, both 7 o'clock start times, barring weather delays yeah. here at Mustang Stadium. She's Coach Laurel Martin for Field Hockey. I'm Dave McHugh. We'll keep in touch with the team throughout the year on Go Mustang Sports.